This video is for those of you who follow the Elenin alignments. We take no position as to whether or not they're having any effect on the Earth. However, the coincidence does exist that alignments appear to occur around the time that earthquakes and solar activity occur. Severe earthquakes, that is. Now, when we hear people talking about alignments, you don't often hear them mentioning this one. You hear them talking about the Chile quake, the Japan quake on 311, and actually upcoming on November 22nd, 112211, the Earth comes between LNN and the Sun. But here on 111111, or perhaps a day earlier, on November 10th, we see a nearly perfect alignment between LNN, Earth, Mercury, and Venus. Now, as you're going to see, it's not an exact perfect line in space, but it's a lot closer than just about every other alignment we've seen. That's probably because Alanin's close in on our solar system, and it's pretty much on our orbital plane with the rest of the planets. As you can see here, this is pretty darn close. Whether or not it has any effect is up to you. We just thought we'd point it out. Now, here's something interesting. We're starting on November 3rd here. Just to kind of give you an idea of where the Earth is there and where it moves to between there and the 11th. Now when I zoom out, look where Jupiter is, look where Saturn is on opposite sides of the Sun. Now we kind of pass through the alignment of Saturn and Jupiter or Saturn uh, or Jupiter and the Sun uh, every time we have one of these big quakes. So in addition to that alignment with Earth, Mercury, and Venus. You got the big, big uh, gas giants to worry about. Much love, everybody. Be safe.